Hey folks, this is Max and welcome to another workflows video. So I recently saw a question on the forum that asked how to get multiple values <clears throat> from a JSON object. And I figured I'll record the video and show you how to do that. So the question is, um, let me show you the JSON here. So this is the JSON. You can see it's a, we have a list of objects. And so the question was asking how to get multiple values. Like for example, you want to get the title, you want to get maybe the, the type, maybe the grid properties. Um, so again, how to get multiple values from, from this object um, for, for each, each object as you iterate over the list. Okay, so usually you would get this JSON either you can use some of the you know search cards, uh, whether these are Octa cards or any you know connecting to any external uh, systems. Uh, another option if um, you call an API. So I figured I'll make this an API call. So what I did is I got this JSON and I used a service called uh, Mock API. So you um, you, you paste uh, any JSON into here and then you click this button and it creates an API. Let me show you how this looks. So you can see the URL, and if I refresh, I get this JSON, right? That's the same that I showed you. All right, so this is the, um, the endpoint, and let me go to workflows. Okay, so this solution has two flows. Uh, this is the main flow, and then it's calling a helper flow, which will iterate and then retrieve the values from that object. But first, I using the API connector get card, and I put the URL and uh, let's test this. All right. And so we can see this is the API is working. Um, pretty neat. Again, you can, you can use this for other, of course, flows if you would like. Um, all right, now let's look here. So notice here that the, the first, the, the property here is sheets. And what I did, let me close this. Now, when you create this card, uh, you get the body um, here and that's it. But then what I did is I added sheets because you can actually add other key names here, right? Just to make it a little bit easier to re retrieve the actual object that you need. So this is what I did. Um, I typed this sheets and this is a, a list of objects. Okay, that's the type. So what I do next is I take the sheets and I uh, connect it to for each, and this is the helper flow. And then here, I'm gonna pass in each record. So each, uh, let me show you this again. Let's go here. So each object like this is going to be passed into the helper flow, okay? All right, let's open the helper flow now. Um, I have it right here. And then this is how it looks. Now, this is the record. So this is the, um, the object that you just saw. Another thing I did here is I said, I need to go one level down is I need to get the properties. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let me go here. So, you know, this is what's being passed, but what I need is actually I need this stuff, right? Be this is what I need. Um, and that's what I'm doing. Notice right here, I'm taking the properties and I am passing it to object get multiple. So object get multiple is a card that allows me to get multiple keys from an object. Okay. Um, and then what I do next is I, um, specify which keys I want. So I want the sheet ID, I want the title, I want the get properties uh, row count, and I want the grid properties, I'm sorry, grid properties, grid properties uh, column count. So let's look here again. Um, now, so again, I'm passing in the properties just to make it a little bit simpler. If I didn't pass in the properties, just to give you an example, I would need to say properties that sheet ID and then properties that title. So just to simplify a little bit, I'm sort of passing just the properties and this allows me to just use these keys, okay? Um, but once you have the keys here, then you can of course use other cards and, and process the subject in you know, whatever way that you need to. But uh, let's run this, let me save. 
and let me see this flows on okay and let's click test all right so we can see this is the first card and then we're passing the api was called we're passing this object actually just the sheets and this is what we see here so this is the sheets object um, we're passing and let's open the helper flow all right and we can see the record here uh, properties all right so this is what we get into the helper flow this is the input into the helper flow but what's nice is that because I, I am only passing, the, well, I'm going one level down, sort of, I'm passing the properties. This is what I get. All right. And again, this is just to simplify. So I don't need to say properties that sheet ID and so on. Um, but for the grid properties, of course, I still need to say um, grid properties dot row account because that's a, we have another object inside an object. Okay. And then this is the object. And finally, we are getting individual keys here. Um, and that's how it works. Now, this is, this is the, uh, one of the uh, objects. But of course, there is another one here. And there is another one here. And there is another one here. All right. Um, Cool. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. I hope this is helpful. Again, the question, the original question was, you know, how do you get multiple um, values from a JSON object? And so this is how um, you're doing. Again, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.